Okay, so today we're on lesson 11. We're going to be comparing and ordering mixed numbers in various forms. Okay, so we're going to first start off by using a number line. So we're going to plot the following points on the number line. So looking at our list of numbers here, we see that we have a mix of decimals and fractions. So now looking at our number line, we see that our number line is in decimals. So what we're going to do is we're going to first start off by converting all of our fractions into decimals. So it's a little bit easier to plot them on the number line. So we first take a look at one-tenth. Okay, so we know one-tenth looks like that. Okay, and then we have twelve-hundredths, okay, which looks like that. And then finally, thirty-two-hundredths, which looks like that. Okay, now looking at our number line, we see that our large sections are counting up by tenths. And then within that large section, there's ten smaller sections, which means each of these smaller lines are then hundredths, okay, because our tenth divided by ten gets us our hundredth. Okay, so first up, we have two tenths, which we can see is already labeled, so we can put a point there. Next, we have our one tenth, which again has already been labeled. Okay, so I'm going to put the fraction above it. Okay. Next, we have 33 hundredths. Okay, and this is where it gets a little bit different. Okay, so we know we have three tenths, we have a three in the tenths place, and then three hundredths after that. So now I can start at three tenths and then count up three more hundredths. And then that is where our 33 hundredths would go. Next, we have 12 hundredths. So again, we have starting off at our one tenth and then counting up two more hundredths to get to here. And we can see that we have twelve hundredths right there. Or in decimal form, it would look like that. Next we have twenty-one hundredths. So again, starting at your two tenths and then going up one hundredth to get us to that point. And then finally thirty-two hundredths. So again, starting at three tenths and then counting up two more hundredths to get us to that point right there. Okay, So that's how we do this. We start off with finding our tenths and then go to our hundredths. Okay, So moving on to letter B here, we can see that now we have more than one whole. So now we have all of our numbers here start with three in the ones place. So again, let's convert our fractions into decimals. Okay, so our first one here we have three and eighty-five hundredths. Thirty-eight tenths we know is three and eight tenths. And then finally three hundred sixty-four hundredths. Okay, well that's three and sixty-four hundredths. Okay. So now we start plotting our points. So again we have three and sixty-two hundredths. So we have six tenths and then counting up two more hundredths. Next we have three and seven tenths, which we can see has already been labeled for us, so we can put a point there. Next we have three and eighty-five hundredths, so we go to our three and eight tenths, and then count up five more hundredths, and plot that point, which is three and eighty-five hundredths. So I'm just putting the fraction above the line and then decimals below the line, okay? But it doesn't really matter. So we have next one we have again three and eight tenths or thirty-eight tenths okay? and then finally three and sixty-four hundredths so we go to three and six tenths and then count over one two three four and there's our three hundred sixty-four hundredths okay right there okay and then moving on to the last one here now we're dealing with six ones So let's start switching them all to decimals. Okay, so six and three tenths, six and twenty-eight hundredths, and then six and two tenths. So we can start plotting them now. So next we have six and three tenths. Okay. And six and thirty-one hundredths. So again, we go to six and three tenths, and then we have one more hundredth after that. Okay. The next one is six and twenty-eight hundredths. So we go six and two tenths, and then count over eight hundredths. Next, we 
Next is 62 tenths, or 6 and 2 tenths, which is already labeled for us. Next, 6 and 43 hundredths. So 6 and 4 tenths, then count over 3 hundredths. And then finally, 6 and 40 hundredths, okay, which we know is equivalent to 6 and 4 tenths. Okay? So that's how we plot out on our number line. Okay? Start off with your tenths, and then start counting over your hundredths okay, on the number line. So next page, we're going to arrange the following numbers in order from greatest to least using decimal form. We're going to use the greater than symbol between each number. Okay? So we're going greatest to least. Okay? So now again, first thing we need to do is convert all of them into decimals so we can compare the same no type of numbers. So we have 27 tenths, 27 hundredths, 2 and 71 hundredths, and then finally 2 and 27 hundredths. Okay? Now, remember that when we are comparing numbers, we always start with the largest unit in this case the ones, well they all have two ones except this spot right here. So you can see this number right here doesn't have any ones so that's the lowest. Okay, So we're going to take a look at the greatest first though. So they all have, all of our, the rest of our numbers have two ones. Okay, So now we go to the tenths place and find which one has the largest number in the tenths place. So we have a seven here 7 here. Okay, so we're looking at 2 and 7 tenths and 2 and 71 hundredths. So we know that 7 tenths equals 70 hundredths, which means 71 hundredths is greater. Okay. So again, they both have a 7 in the tenths place, but this has a 1 in the hundredth spot whereas this has nothing in the hundredth spot, hundredth spot. And one is greater than zero. Okay, so now we move on to the next number. So this has been done, and this has been done. So now again we continue on. So now we have these numbers left. Well, we can see that this has a two in the tenths place, whereas this only has a zero in the tenths place. Okay, which means this number would have to come next, followed by two and seven hundredths. Now working through here, we see that we left off this one over here, our two and seventy-two hundredths. Well, looking at what we've already written, we can see that seventy-two hundredths is greater than seventy-one hundredths. So we're actually going to squeeze that over here. Okay, because 72 hundredths is greater than 71 hundredths. Okay, so now that one's been done. So now all that we have left here is the 27 hundredths. And now we have all of them arranged from greatest to least. Okay, so now moving on, we see we have 12 and 3 tenths, 1 and 34 hundredths, and then finally 12 and 20 hundredths, or 2 tenths. Okay, so now again we're going greatest to least. So we're starting off with our tens. Okay, so we can see our tens and ones. So we have 12, 13, 1, 13, and 12. So we're going to start off with our two thirteens. Okay, so this one has a 2 in the tenths place, whereas this one only has a, one, a 0 in the tenths place. So 13 and 2 tenths is the greatest of those numbers. Okay. Followed by 13 and 2 hundredths. Okay. First seeing that there are 13's which is greater than all the rest of them. Then 2 tenths is greater than 0 tenths. Okay, so move on to the next one. Okay, now we look we have two numbers that are that have 12 ones. Okay. So 3 tenths is greater than 2 tenths. So that tells us what numbers to write down next. So now all we're left with 
is our 1 and 34 hundredths. Okay. Next one we have 7 34 hundredths, 7 and 4 tenths, 7 and 3 tenths, and then 7 and 50 hundredths, okay, or 5 tenths. Okay, so looking through, we see a lot of 7s, but if we notice, this number right here is the largest by a lot. So first number we're going to write is 75. It's clearly higher than the rest of the numbers. Okay, so now we take a look at all of our numbers that have seven ones, okay, and move on to the tenths place. So now we see we have three, four, three, five, and two. So of those digits, five tenths would be the largest. So that's what we write next. So now that's done. Okay, so now we take a look at our next ones. We have 3, 4, 3, and 2. Well, now 4 becomes the next largest. So 7 and 4 tenths would come next. Now finally we have our 2, 3 tenths. Okay. So if you see, we have 7 and 34 hundredths, and then 7 and 3 tenths. Okay. Well, remember that 3 tenths equals 30 hundredths. So when we go to compare these numbers, 34 hundredths is greater than 30 hundredths. So that would be our next two numbers. Okay, because this is 30 hundredths, whereas this is 34. Okay, so now those are done, and all we're left with next is our 7 and 2 tenths. Okay, now we're going to conclude today with two word problems. So, number three. In the long jump event, Rhonda jumped one and sixty-four hundredths meters, Mary jumped one and six tenths meters, Carrie jumped ninety-four hundredths of a meter, Michelle jumped one and six hundredths of a meter. Who jumped the farthest? Okay, so this is setting us up basically for how we did the problem before. So we have our four people. We have Rhonda, Mary, Carrie and Michelle. Okay, now again, let's make them all decimals so it's a little bit easier to compare. So, Rhonda, 1 and 64 hundredths meters. Make sure we pay attention to the units. Mary did 1 and 6 tenths of a meter. Now, notice how I'm writing these down. I'm making sure my decimals align. I'm not going to be adding or subtracting, but when I go to compare them, it's going to be a little bit easier to watch place value. So next, carry jump 94 hundredths of a meter, okay. which is going to look like this. Okay, And then finally, Michelle jumped 1 and 6 hundredths of a meter. And we want to know who jumped the farthest. Okay, So now we look at our numbers to see who had the farthest number. Well, obviously, carries out because they have zero ones. So it's not carry. So now we look at our tenths place. We have a zero, a six, and a six. Okay, well now we know it's not Michelle. So now we're left comparing Rhonda and Mary. Now looking at the two numbers, notice they both have one one. They both have six tenths. But Rhonda has four in the hundredths place, whereas Mary has a zero in the hundredths place, which then makes Rhonda our farthest jumper. Moving on to our last one here, number four. It snowed two and three tenths feet in December, two and fourteen hundredths feet in January, and then two and nineteen hundredths feet in February, and then finally one and one tenth feet in March. Okay, so we're going to line these up. Okay, convert into decimals. Looking at our numbers, we can see the most was in December.